Hey, I'm Ben Silverio, and we're here at Dock Street Brewery, where we're about to try the new Walking Dead-inspired Dock Street Walker. Let's talk to the brewers who designed the beer and find out more about it. So, how did you guys first come up with the idea of doing a Walking Dead-themed beer? Uh, the idea mostly came up when I joined a bowling league for Walking Dead, and I wanted to drink beer while bowling, and Sasha and I would always recap the shows on Mondays, so it kind of like all came together as a light bulb in my head. I was like, well, why not? Let's just make a beer around it. Everyone was really excited about it, and then the ingredients started falling together. Awesome. How did you guys uh, choose which ingredients to use? For instance, why goat brain over something like, I don't know, monkey or whatever? <laughs> we uh, started out with some ideas. When Justin decided that we should do the Walking Dead beer, we threw around the ideas of blood oranges, elderberries, since there's references on the show. But uh, we kind of wanted to do something over the top, something that's never been done before. There's so many adventurous different beers that doing something that no one's done before is something that we all strive to do and we threw out the ideas. I mean, I've grown up in the restaurant business, so I've had chefs from all over the world prepare brain as uh, some cultural dish or another. Um, so I thought it would be the most natural alignment with the zombie dramedy. How did you guys uh, come up with the labels? Um, we actually have one of our servers here. Her name is Alexis Grant. Uh, she's a really talented artist. She does a lot of uh, exhibitions around here and paints um, a lot of the stuff that we show in the restaurant. So we gave her a logo of our sailor and she was able to turn into a zombie. And we were kind of worried because it was like too good and too scary. It was creepy, uh, which is exactly what it should be. But it came out really nice and kind of pulled the beer together, I think. Has anyone from the cast heard about this yet? Have you guys reached out to them or anything? We had heard the writers for the show had gotten uh, some word about the beer, and they got really excited. We got a phone call that Sasha handled. Yeah, I was actually bartending on a Wednesday night, and I picked up the phone expecting it to be like a takeout order or something. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'd like to talk to you about Dock Street Walker. And I was like, oh great, I can answer any questions. He's like, well, actually, I'm a writer for AMC's The Walking Dead, and my heart kind of just dropped. I was like expecting a cease and desist, like, I don't know what you're talking about. What, what beer? But he was really excited. He seemed really excited about it. He said the office was buzzing about it, that people had been asking them. They get like 20 emails a day about it. So we sent them over some bottles, and we we're hoping they're going to try them on The Talking Dead, but they had a lot to talk about as well. Right. Great, so how can fans get their hands on Dock Street Walker? The best way right now is where it was at the brew pub. The beer kind of sold out within a few days, which, I mean, we have 20, a 10 barrel system, so we brew 20 kegs at a time, and it was the quickest selling beer we've ever, ever brewed. I mean, we've got demand from people from China asking to send us cases, or to send them cases, people from France, but we're, Officially, unofficially, we're talking about brewing it again for next season, so uh, we'd like to get a little wider distribution on that, but All time right. will tell. How about, we, how about we try some? Sure. That's really interesting. You, you guys want to talk me through the, the flavors and stuff? So this beer, uh, obviously having the goat brains in it, blends some of a smoky flavor, which tends to come out more so, uh, I think, in the aroma when it warms up. So luckily this beer is kind of slightly chilled, a little warm, so you get more of that on the nose. Um, and the cranberries add that kind of first tart flavor you get, and also the nice, you know, sort of reddish hue we got there to lend the blood feel for this whole zombie idea case scenario I thought it was gonna happen there was gonna be a vegans versus zombies protest on the opening day and <laughs> it didn't happen, uh, not yet yeah. vegans PETA Dock Street gang fight <laughs>